Racing wheelchair hand rims. Sometimes you have to take them off and then you have to get them back on. How do you do that? Let us help you with that. This is Raymond Jones with Wheels of Fire Wheelchair Racing. Wheelchair racers use rubber coated rings attached to the rear wheels of their chair and special gloves to propel their chair forward. These hand rims or push rims have to be removed sometimes. Perhaps you're changing the size of the hand rim so that it suits you better, or you need to remove the hand rim so that you can replace the rubber surface on the hand rim and reinstall it. Well, there are a few tips and tricks that you need to know depending upon the type of wheel that you're gonna be working with. Different hand rims attach in different ways to different styles of wheel. We're gonna go over a few different styles of wheel and hand rim so that you can see some tips and tricks on how to more easily get the hand rim off and put it back on. As you look at your particular type of wheel and hand rim, here's a tip. Take a picture of how the hand rim is attached to the rim before you take it apart. That way you can refer to the photos and see if you've put it back on correctly. The first wheel and hand rim type we're gonna look at is a carbon fiber wheel. What you'll notice is that it's probably the easiest to work with. All it has is a bolt and it may have a hex head or Allen key head like this or another type. And then on the back side, there's just a nut and a washer to hold it on. All you need is whatever appropriate size and tool that would hold the bolt head, and then you use either a wrench or a socket on the nut. Loosen the nut and washer. Once you've taken all of the nuts and washers out, then you just remove the bolts and separate the hand rim from the wheel. To reattach the hand rim, all you have to do is line up the holes in the brackets on the hand rim to the holes that are in the wheel. Slide the bolts through in all four places and then put the washer and the nut back on and tighten them up. Now, this is very important. When you tighten up the nuts on the back side, you don't want to over tighten them so that you crack the carbon fiber. They need to be firm, but not over tightened. The last wheel and hand rim type we want to talk about are spoke wheels. When you begin to take the hand rim off of a spoke wheel, what you'll see is that the hand rim is equipped with threaded posts. The threaded posts have a bolt and the bolt holds two metal washers that sandwich two rubber washers around each outer spoke. The way you want to take it off is that you loosen each of the bolts. Now, they may have a hex head, it may have a star tip, it may have a different type of bolt head, but what you want to do is find the tool that fits it, and then you want to back them out. I highly recommend that you don't want to take them all the way off. You just want to loosen them. If you have a drill, it's a little easier to work quicker. Once you have them loosened, then what you might find is that the rubber has kind of gripped together over time. A little dry rot maybe has gotten in there and it's difficult to get those rubber washers to separate apart. A trick is that you can use a flat blade screwdriver, insert the flat blade screwdriver between the two rubber washers, give it a little twist and they'll pop apart. Once you have all of the rubber washers separated, then you should be able to just rotate the hand rim and it'll pop right off of the spokes. Now we want to talk about putting the hand rim back on the spoke wheel. We've propped this wheel up here so that you can get a little bit more of a straight on view of it. What you want to do is you want to flip everything over, put the hand rim upside down on a flat surface, and then flip the wheel over so that the outer part of the wheel is facing toward the table or toward the ground. Then what you want to do is to center the wheel and the hand rim to each other. So you're going to maybe get out a tape measure and see like a stud here and a stud directly across from it. Are they about the same distance from the center hub of the wheel? They don't have to be exactly right, but getting them roughly in place is gonna make things a little easier for you. You also wanna make sure that you have each one of the thread, the bolts, loosened enough 
and the metal and rubber washers separated enough that you would be able to fit the spoke between the pair of rubber washers. Once you kind of have things lined up a little bit, then what you begin to do is to try and rotate the hand rim and to put the spoke, each outer spoke, between the two rubber washers. You have to kind of work a little bit at a time, working your way around until you get them all fit in place. Once they're fit in place, then you want to start tightening it up, making sure that the hand rim is fairly center on the wheel. You don't want the hand rim kind of wobbling. You want it more centered toward the hub. You'll tighten everything up, get it good and snug, and you're ready to go. There's one other detail that we want you to notice. This is the right wheel for the racing wheelchair. When you have the wheel turned upside down, what you'll notice is the right wheel the bolts are always on the right side of the spoke. As I turn this wheel, you'll notice every time the bolt is on the right side of each spoke. If you look, however, at the left wheel, the left wheel turned upside down, and you'll notice that the bolt is on the left side of each spoke. The bolt's here, the spoke is there. Let's take you over to the chair and you'll see why the left and right wheels have to be installed differently. So we've taken the left wheel off so that you can see a little bit better. Imagine you're sitting in the chair and you're looking at the hand rim attached to the spoke wheel. You'll notice that of the spokes that face the front of the racing wheelchair, the bolt always rests on top of the spoke. Why? So when you're applying your downward force, the bolts are always being pressed into the spoke. If the bolt is below the spoke, when you push, you'll be pulling the hand rim off of the wheel. And let me tell you, that hand rim will pop off at the worst possible opportunity. So when you're seated in the chair, here's the trick to remember. The hand rim bolts always rest on top of the spokes that face toward the front of the racing wheelchair. In this video, we've given you tools and tricks for learning how to uninstall and reinstall hand rims on racing wheelchair rear wheels. This video on hand rims fits into a larger playlist that we've created and are adding to all about hand rims. Check out our link below to see that playlist. Would you consider liking, subscribing, or sharing our content? The more people who view, like, subscribe, and share our content, the greater our visibility increases. It could be that someone who could benefit from wheelchair racing finds our content because you like, subscribe, or share. This is Raymond Jones with Wheels of Fire saying, keep them rolling.